News Nation is also broadcasting all over the country, not just nationally, but in local cities and towns as well. And journalists like Dave Nethers from our Cleveland station have a story, uh, this time about a tragic college hazing death and how it led to real reform in Ohio. We're at the University of Akron in Akron, Ohio, seven years after a serious hazing incident closed this fraternity house behind me, the larger Greek community here. Embracing this new anti hazing law, Collins Law was named after 18 year old Colin Wyant, who died following a hazing incident in a house off campus at The Ohio University in Athens. In 2018, the law signed by Governor Mike DeWine in June taking effect on Thursday. It increases the penalties for severe hazing incidents from fourth degree misdemeanors to felonies. It also creates other requirements for schools and for fraternities and sororities to try and prevent any more such incidents. The president of the Phi Kappa Tau fraternity here in Akron, which has stood for over a century on campus, among those supporting this new law, in addition to the existing anti-hazing school policies. I guess the, the exceptions that, like, the reason Collins Law is in place is because there are exceptions, but, um, I mean, largely speaking, if you care about the well-being of your chapter and those in it, you just don't do the sort of stuff that would get you taken off of campus. The University of Akron, as well as other public universities around the state of Ohio, issuing statements saying that they emphatically support this strict new law. Dave Nethers, News Nation in Akron, Ohio. Back to you, Adrian. All right, we appreciate that report. This is a hard story to talk about, but I did have a friend who died in a hazing incident mm -hmm. when, when I graduated from college. And so, I, I mean, I pay attention to this. I think a lot of parents mm -hmm. have paid attention to this when we've seen some of these incidents that could have easily been prevented. Well, let's talk about our next story. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and there is actually a rage room in Hawaii that caters to cancer survivors, giving them a place to smash stuff and uh, release their emotions. A News Nation's Lauren Day from our Honolulu station takes us inside break and anger. Now, what this place is is exactly what the name entails. You let out your anger and you break stuff. These types of rage rooms are not new. There's tons of them across the country. But what's unique about this one is that one of the owners is a cancer survivor. She knows just how grueling the fight against cancer can be. And so she wanted to help others going through what she went through. So they're offering what's called smash cancer sessions free of charge. That was the one time I was really afraid of taking the medication. I was tired a little bit of it. And one of the nurses told me that there were people going every day to take the medication for years sometimes. And it made me strong to take the medication that day, but it made me want to find a way to support them and make their life a little easier, a little happier. I'm a little afraid. I'm angry that it is a disease that has uh, changed my life, uh, that has changed my mom's life, uh, that has taken very many people um, before their time. I smashed the wine glass to represent the alcohol I'm not supposed to drink anymore. It felt really, really good. Uh, strangely cathartic. Yeah! Reporting in Honolulu, I'm Lauren Day. Back to you in the studio. You know, it's akin to going to the driving range or maybe, you yeah. know, hitting some balls. Or the punching range. bag. Punching bag, absolutely. Yeah. I love that. My mom and I actually, and I think you were just saying the <laughs> what same were thing. You gonna say? We one time had all these plates and she didn't know what to do with them. And she was like, you want to smash them? Wow. And we went into the backyard and we just smashed. Well, see, that's a much better story than mine. My mom didn't want me to break my knuckles, and so if I was mad, she wanted me to hit something soft. So she's like, yeah. Adrian, if you feel upset by your brothers and what they're doing, punch a pillow. Wow. Mm. It didn't really feel as good as smashing plates. I think we're going to agree for on Monday. Your... My yeah. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> smashing plates, don't break your knuckles. It, it, you know, you don't want to you don't want to hit anything and hurt it. So, yeah, anyways. Especially not your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I actually, for the record, never did hit my brother. So Aww. I'm very. I you love my brother. Yes, no. That's why, why your knuckles are so healthy. Exactly. 